enough a very strange topic for me to talk about because i have no idea i had no idea who this girl was before i saw this but this is an interesting clip right so this is um a clip from a guy called stephen bartlett i think he's an entrepreneur i see him on a lot of um instagram ads here and there right i think he's got businesses and stuff one of those kind of you know maverick young entrepreneur dudes very well spoken i think he's got a clip that's going viral at the moment of him um, talking on BBC's Question Time, basically giving Boris Johnson and the Tories a bit of a dress down regarding their kind of reaction to COVID and all that stuff. So, it's, you know, it seems like a cool dude. He's got a podcast and he interviewed this girl called Molly May, who is, um, from what I've researched, one of the contestants, I guess she won, or maybe a contestant of Love Island. Again, I don't watch it, not from any sort of like, you know, I think I'm better than that show sort of thing. It's just not for me. So I don't really know much about her, but I've seen her around, of course, on social media, because obviously she's big on there. He's interviewing her and basically kind of, you know, going through a bit of a history. And there's this one bit that kind of went viral on the internet for whatever reason, because I guess people are just, I don't know, people are a bit loopy. But this girl was obviously really young, really successful for the age that she's at made a bunch of money probably a millionaire probably multi-millionaire i'd assume and she basically has this very um i guess different take on friendship right and what it means and how significant it is to her and whatnot blah 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 and it's interesting to see how people reacted to it on social media so let me just play the clip for you and then we're going to talk about it on the other side so this is the clip go down have you got a lot of friends Straight up, no. No, I don't. My circle is minuscule. I have literally about five people in my circle, and that includes friends. I have acquaintances, and I have people in my life that I, I say are my friends, but I... No, I, my circle is absolutely tiny, and I like it that way. I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, I work, I spend time with my boyfriend, and I go to bed. That is actually my life. And I'm not bothered about social life. It's never been something that I've been interested in. I don't know if you've, like... I don't know if you know, but I, I don't really drink. I don't party. I don't go out. But that is just because I actually don't enjoy it. It's not for me. I'd rather just focus on making money, being successful and, and being happy. Have you got a lot of friends? Now, I don't necessarily see what's so controversial about that comment. Mostly because of, you know, again, the little research I've done on her. She's like, what, 22, 23, you know extremely successful made a bunch of money has now been recently appointed as a pretty little thing creative director so obviously somebody that's very driven and knows what she kind of wants what did people expect if you're somebody on that level or you want to achieve whatever she wants to achieve and again it's not for everybody let's just get that out of the blue because i think some people are just getting angry about things just for the sake of it because i think they feel as if maybe it's a bad influence or bad kind of representation on other women who are coming up trying to do business cool but let's be honest and say that she's one of the kind of she's in the top one percent in terms of higher achievers and obviously being able to achieve that no yeah high achievers and also in terms of just temperament people are not born like this a lot there's not it's not like a common thing to be born this way right it's, it's quite uncommon which is probably why she's so successful at this point in time but people that are like this are like this for a reason because legitimately her sport the thing that probably gets her hard or people that the thing that probably gets her going sorry look at the term hard is being successful is seeing the coins coming into account having people running after her in, in an inbox for deals and endorsements and whatever it may be that's what gets her off right that's the the kind of reception and the adulation she gets from fans that's probably just as great as a high as people going and doing bumps in toilets at flipping children firehouse i mean that to her is definitely her thing and i'm just surprised at how people legitimately think to be that successful you can also have a textbook balanced sort of like social life or so you can basically have a textbook work life balance you don't it doesn't exist i think we've seen now with covid that people have basically woken up to the fact that maybe working a middle level job, an entry level job and working it to the bone, staying in until 8 p.m., all this sort of stuff is maybe not worth it in the long term. Right. Maybe taking less money, doing something on part time, claiming the rest of it on universal credit or doing whatever or kind of working um, on your hustle, on, like on, on your flipping spare time. That might be worth more of your time now. Right. We've seen that a lot with this whole anti work movement. People are quitting, of course, their jobs full, straight up and saying we're not going back. I'm just going to live off benefits. But there is a small um group of people within that group who are also saying i'd much rather not work 60 hours a week maybe work 30 maybe work 26 whatever it may be and then the rest of my time spend it doing the thing that i actually enjoy knitting sewing 
making clothes, making furniture, DJing, present, whatever, doing your YouTube channel, doesn't matter. That's what people are basically seeing, right? That's some, that's what work-life balance is. But the idea of being a, having work-life balance when you're a CEO, a creative director, a founder, it doesn't exist because in order to make those businesses work, which is a very competitive and a very fraught and very difficult area to kind of go in, right? To kind of fund a business, even if it's not your money to be successful, I'm, I'm assuming the stats on it are mad, right? In terms of people who actually get successful from actually doing a business that they fought up in their head you have to kind of commit everything and you can't really afford to go to Zanti you can't afford to go to Ibiza you can't afford to go out and eat at some restaurant that has like neon lights and you can stand in front of the butterfly wings and post on Instagram you can't afford to do that but the reason why those girls do that and choose that because to them that's more important or that's more kind of um, fulfilling to hang out with their friends and drink Prosecco than it is to be at home thinking about stressing about a shoot that you want to do on Instagram or something right but those are choices that we make. But for some reason, people f want to have it all. They want to be able to be as successful as Molly Megio, but also they want to have the greatest and bestest kind of flipping circle of friends. It just doesn't exist. One has to give. One definitely has to give. And also, I think for her, being a woman, I'd imagine, and being somebody that people think is attractive and having a lot of money, you're definitely going to invite a lot of envy. You're definitely going to invite people who come around you for the wrong intention. So maybe minimizing the people around you and kind of keeping your circle small and tight is maybe the best way to go about things, especially when you think about, you know, recently uh, I read that her and her boyfriend went through a pretty traumatic home robbery thing, which, you know, I didn't really have much sympathy for at the time, which I still don't, because I still think, you know, if you're an influencer who's parading your house around that you actually live in, Forget if it's a showroom house, but if it's a house you actually live in that you call home and you're showing everyone your every inch that you live in and where you go and your you know what I mean and basically your timetable is available on social media because you're basically live sharing every single movement, then you should be cognitive or aware enough that there are people who will kind of laud you for that and send you fire emojis and heart emojis and stuff but it's also going to be sinister people that they're kind of plotting on your downfall because they can take advantage of it easily because they'll just see when both of you are out and take advantage of it which is basically what those robbers did so obviously traumatic but still i think lesson learned but if that's the case and that's how they're living then maybe you have to keep your circle tight i'd imagine now after the back of that robbery they probably decided to keep their circle even tighter than that was before so <coughs> sorry i didn't actually get it all the backlash i saw people talking online saying oh, i can't believe i think most of the issue that i saw from people speaking online about it let me just double check and i'll search for it here and we'll read some tweets it had more to do with this kind of negative reaction people have with um the hustle mentality or the hustle mindset um i guess it's got wrong connotations for whatever reason i'm not sure what happened there was a moment in time i felt like on social media where especially in the girl scene being a girl boss was a big deal then it turned into being a little bit of a uh, being a bit of a joke and now it's turned into something of an insult it's strange how it's gone through that kind of trajectory right um being a girl boss was actually a good thing but now all of a sudden it's a bad thing so people didn't really have any good reactions to say about it so let me quickly read some reactions of people on social and i'll kind of give you an idea of what i was sort of reacting to and why i made the video in the first place so you don't think i'm just creating this internal dialogue in my head myself right so this is from social media obviously i did molly may friends first tweet here says um, vomit emoji at Molly May on that podcast saying that she doesn't have time for her friends because she'd rather be making money. Friends don't add anything to my life. What a horrendous way to live life. Well, that's not horrendous, is it? That's her way that she wants to live her life. Now, that's the thing that I love. I think is good about social media and I think it's good about the internet or in general, these podcasts and stuff. What you get to see, listening to a Tim Ferriss podcast, listening to whatever else self-help person exists, when they kind of lay out their daily plan or their daily sort of schedule it's sort of like that guy what's his name um uh marky mark right i forgot his f f actual name but when he kind of laid out what he actually does working out wise i think he sleeps at 9 p.m works up at four it's good to see that because it lets you realize what it takes to be him and then it also makes you decide am i willing to wake up at 4 a.m to do 15 pests to do fucking 100 push-ups so i can get some bigger arms probably not does your time sleeping do you value your time sleeping more than you do your bigger arms yes okay then go to bed it's not like he's not like he's telling you this is how you should live your life he's just showing you here's what i do similar if someone like the rock came out and said oh i only eat flipping chicken and cabbage for 60 days out of the oh, 60 days whatever no for 60 days straight 
if you don't want to do that to get look like the rock then you don't have to do it but let's not kid ourselves and say that you can have a cheat meal every week and also look like the rock it just isn't going to happen something's gonna have to give and don't get me wrong look at the rock as well do you think the rock has a healthy social life do you think he has a healthy family life do you think he gets to see his kids and his wife all the time and hang out with his boys probably not he's filming a million films a time um visiting for, for some reason i think would i read it somewhere every kind of film set or any kind of thing that he does he goes out and takes out a flipping gym membership or whatever place he's in and just smack and just basically books it out for private sessions like however long he wants to be there like that's an actual thing that he does so he actually kind of books his gym sessions around whatever thing he's filming on the time that's not a, probably the most funnest of guys to be around Do you know what i mean he's probably a bit highly strung probably a bit type a but it works for him it works for him another person said here not being funny but i actually agree with molly may you won't understand until you've been for a period of isolation in your life that you don't need to make new friends and all you need is good small friendship and circle yeah of course i've actually always said this i think i'm unique in that regard because i'm not unique I, i'm a bit weird in that regard in that i don't really have a lot of group of i don't really have a, a, a group of friends a big one but i also know a lot of people but sometimes people confuse knowing people with having friends but also i'm a bit of a people pleaser so i can have that kind of weird duality going on but i think when you get older or just in general in life you start to realize it's better to have three two one really good friend as opposed to six seven eight nine ten wishy-washy friends who never turn up to your birthday who never check in on you who don't hang out whatever who, who you don't see if, if it's not night time those are not really friends those are kind of acquaintances or people that you know from the scene or whatever it may be but actual friends they're there when you need them they're probably there to tell you some home truths you know what i mean like those are legit friends like there's all that what's that test it's not that moving out test right if your friends are if someone doesn't want to help you move out they're not your friend but I don't, that's a bit unfair because everyone's got their life but you know it's that kind of um regime or that kind of realm um it's going to friends as so. well okay not that one another one here says why are you sticking up for her okay another person why are you sticking up for her if she cares about anyone but herself and her millions i suggest you drop all your friends and focus on makeup and see how far you get molly may don't give you a shit about you though queen okay yeah this person's being a bit dumb again people are allowed to live their lives the way they want to live their lives and i i'm the, the, i think i said this before about the fitness thing it's interesting that if you're posting on social media every single day that you're having a glass of wine or a prosecco with your friends you're partying somewhere in some far-flung place no one ever tells you to calm down no one ever sends you a dm and says hey you're probably drinking too much prosecco you're eating too many steaks but the moment you start working out a bunch the moment you start losing weight drastically the moment you just change your life like completely right the other way around suddenly people start messaging saying oh you've gone too skinny like look at you you need to eat this i hope you're okay that's the moment like uh, people are weird isn't it as soon as you start to improve yourself or you actually are a bit driven on something they think you're going crazy the moment you just do what everyone else is doing they're happy with it maybe it's a thing of like feeling inadequate right because they know you and if they if they see you doing it it kind of makes them feel like oh i have to uh, how come i can't do it probably i don't really know another person says i generally don't follow money money whatsoever but please if you're going to critique someone at least be informed she says she had a small friendship group of about five people and she doesn't care to make more not that she doesn't have any friends exactly happy she someone said that common sense another person says was well, going to criticize money made no new friends comments but then i realized she's 22 and i remember how stupid and silly i was at 22 god almighty um i'm sure life will teach her how important community is an abundant wholesome life people are weird in it how they kind of project their own demands or their own way of life on other people she was asked a question about how she views friendship she replied to it kind of give her rationale and reasons to it you don't have to agree but that is what it is you just keep on moving this whole life will teach you you'll be humbled kind of like tear, 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 waving their finger at people it's just bizarre people critiquing molly may for having a tight circle of friends lml bitch um i'd rather have one or two friends than a hundred that will talk shit behind my back as soon as i'm not around of course then just not even that even if 100 of your friends are good or they're great it's just a lot to keep up with it's a lot it's stressful how many birthday parties do you go to per year which ones do you have to miss graduations weddings like births of children like that's a lot to kind of handle it if you actually want to be a real friend forget all the flaky flaky stuff you actually want to be there for them personally like people go through stuff all the time how about if you got a friend that's always down in their luck like how many times do you support them how many times you don't support it's all it's really stressful it's just a lot to lot to do and i'd imagine there's a lot of people i'd imagine the percentage of people who actually have 100 good friends and they actually keep in touch with them is very very small it's not something everyone can do unless maybe you live in a really small community somewhere right and you see those are people that you count as your quote-unquote friends another one says why are you lot mad at molly may she said she had a small circle of friends it's interesting making new friends for some reason 
I watched the Molly Man interview and she insisted that everyone had it. Okay, yeah, that's the one I'm going to do next. Certain people aren't meant to have a lot of friends, especially the amount of weirdos they're about. Exactly, I agree with this one. Molly May is a person who naturally attracts a lot of jealousy. People like that should close closed off to most and just have a small, strong foundation of family and friends. I definitely agree with that. I think I've said the same thing about Joe Rogan. I think for as weird as Joe Rogan is, I think part of the reason why he's actually been pretty good in terms of dealing with social media backlash and just comments from outsiders is that i generally believe him when he says he doesn't read comments generally do believe him because i think if he starts to engage with what people say about him on social media in general he'll probably go cuckoo he'd probably go the same way that alex jones went for sure i think that's what happens when you start to engage too much with the people that you are maybe making content for or the people that are out there watching the stuff that you do is a moment you sort of kind of lose your focus it's a moment you start trying to please them you remember you start trying to correct the narrative it just becomes a game that you can't essentially win and i don't think mentally humans are basically wired to basically have that much level of input coming at them i think it's one thing putting out the content and just letting it sit if it gets a million views if it gets a million views but sitting there and listening to a million points of feedback however constructive or destructive they are is just never a good recipe for success so it makes sense that if you again if you're that girl and you're 22 23 and you've become a multi-millionaire and literally you're young 20 in your early 20s you've got one of the most enviable jobs in the world in terms of being the pretty little things creative director and you're just living life and you've got this amazing boyfriend that you chill with you've got car all this good stuff that people want in life this material things and maybe even the business success things and the relationship things maybe she's got a relationship with her mom that everyone knows about i don't know i don't know much about the girl but that's the case you have to keep your circle tight you have to how else are you going to live how is she going to exist how is she going to keep functioning she can't be like i don't know what people expect they, they expect to see her at love box they expect to see her at flipping what's it called wayne lineker's um spot in ibiza they expect to see her on dancing with the stars and also doing all the business stuff outside it doesn't work you have to pick a lane you pick a lane if you're the business person you do the business if you're the just I'm, I'm here to show i'm here to be a face you do the face thing but you can't do both or you can't do that and also have a circle of friends and also be there for everyone it's just too much it's just too much i don't really understand that but again maybe i'm wrong in that regard 